my children brought those music, reminding them of the aloha spirit, of the, the unity, and the wonderful love that goes on in our island. I bring you greetings on behalf of our uh, interim president, uh, Dr. Richard Harris, and our vice president for our evangelism department in our American Mission Board, uh, Frank, Dr. Frank Page. Uh, we are delightful and glad that you continue to follow the Lord in your supporting and Armstrong offering. I am one of the many 5,000 missionaries here in North America, and I serve as your director of prayer, evangelism, and worship. And uh, what, what I do in the islands is encourage your churches and our churches in the area of evangelism. In fact, uh, today, since January, we have done five trainings in different islands uh, to encourage people into evangelism and also to equip them in this coming what we call God's plan for sharing or GPS. <coughs> Let me tell you quickly what that is. This coming March 15th, which is tomorrow, we will be running an ad on your television set. And thanks to your cooperative giving, television and radio, those of you who love to watch Korean soap drama, <coughs> you will see that too. There. <laughs> I'm glad we got some young people. <laughs> and uh, you will see the ads there uh, uh, explaining about how three wonderful individuals came to know the Lord and came to find hope and purpose and peace through Jesus Christ. And we're hoping that on April the 4th, many of our community members will try to look for Jesus Christ in the nearest Southern Baptist Church. And that's in the area of evangelism. In the area of prayer, our goal is to see our churches come together, getting close to the heart of God. There's the study of the Word, but there is prayer. And our Women's Missionary Union and WMU Wonderful Ladies have paved the great way in prayer walking, encouraging churches to get in touch with the heart of God. And that's what this department is all about. Finally, we are also coordinating with all of our Southern Baptist Ohana in Hawaii in different places about worship. In fact, in, the area, in these three areas, we see a great desire to reach more people for Jesus Christ. Uh, I am reminded of the, uh, the ERC trainings, prepare people to follow the Lord. I'm reminded of the GPS trainings. And also, I'm reminded of the fact that we have so many international people that go through Hawaii. Now, we know that it's true in Waikiki and here in Honolulu and in different places. But those people who are international but never get to set foot in the land, but they just stay on shore. And this is the very heart of our executive director, Dr. Earl Henderson. He comes to, to the living pray together with him that we would see a seafarer's ministry here in Honolulu. Many people, the fishermen, just get to be on the shore. They could never set foot on the land. But it would be interesting that we could get to share Jesus with them. And while they're here on the shores, they can hear Jesus and bring Jesus with them when they go back home. And thanks to your cooperative giving and your Annie Armstrong giving, myself and many other missionaries are able to do God's task in our lives. And I'm joined with Christina. Christina also is a, an avid a children's church ministry, but now is able to do a children's ministry in different places. And my children too are able to do many of those missions. That, that you wholeheartedly support. We thank you for that. And so, continue giving, continue praying, and we're praying for you. We appreciate you. 